Before we start, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos. Today, we're stepping back in time to the early 19th century, where the birth of the Zulu Kingdom took place. In the vast landscapes southern Africa, an ambitious and charismatic leader named Shaka Zulu rose prominence. Shaka was not just a ruler, he was a visionary with a strategic mind. In 1816, he ascended to the throne and began his mission to unite the various clans of the region under one. His innovative military strategies were a game-changer. He transformed the Asagai, a traditional throwing spear, into a shorter, more manageable stabbing weapon, and introduced the Bullhorn Formation, revolutionizing warfare in the region. Through his leadership and tactical genius, he consolidated numerous clans a centralized kingdom. This was not merely the creation of a new ruling body, but a complete societal Shaka's reign marked the beginning of what we now know as the Zulu Kingdom, a powerful and influential entity in southern Africa. With the foundation set, the Zulu Kingdom began expanding, thanks to Shaka's successors. It was under the leadership of Dingani and Mpande that the kingdom witnessed significant territorial growth. As leaders, they were astute, employing strategic political and military tactics to ensure the expansion and consolidation of the Zulu Kingdom. Dingani, who ascended to the throne after Shaka, was a leader with a keen political mind. He understood the importance of alliances and used them to his advantage. He formed pacts with neighboring tribes which not only strengthened his kingdom's position but also provided a buffer against potential threats. But his reign was not without challenges. The Battle of Blood River was a significant event during Dingani's rule. This battle saw a confrontation between the Zulu warriors and Vortrekkers. Despite the Zulu's numerical superiority, the Vortrekkers, armed with advanced weaponry, emerged victorious. This battle marked a shift in power dynamics in the region. Following Dingani's rule, Mpande ascended the throne. Unlike his predecessor, Mpande relied more on military strategies. He was a skilled tactician, using warfare as a tool for expansion. He led the Zulu kingdom to a decisive victory against the Ndwandwe, a rival tribe, further cementing the kingdom's dominance. But it wasn't just about warfare for Mpande. He also focused on internal consolidation, fostering unity among the different tribes within the kingdom. He understood that a united front was essential for the kingdom's survival and growth. Through strategic alliances and military prowess, the Zulu kingdom solidified its position as a dominant force in the region. The reigns of Dingani and Mpande were marked by a delicate balance of diplomacy and warfare, alliances and conquests. They expanded the kingdom not just in terms of territory but also in influence and power. They left behind a legacy of a kingdom that was resilient, powerful and united, setting the stage for the challenges and triumphs that were yet to come. However, the Zulu kingdom's dominance was threatened by the encroaching British Empire, leading to the infamous Anglo-Zulu War. This conflict, which unfolded at the dawn of 1879, was not merely a struggle for territory, but a clash of cultures, ideologies, and ambitions. The British Empire, in its quest for global dominance, sought to consolidate its control over South Africa. The Zulu Kingdom, a force to be reckoned with, stood in their way. The friction between these two entities sparked a series of events that culminated in the Anglo-Zulu War. The war was marked by several significant battles. Among them, the Battle of Isandlwana stands out as a testament to the Zulu warriors' bravery and tactical prowess. The Zulus, armed primarily with traditional Asagai iron spears and cowhide shields, faced the British, equipped with modern weaponry. Yet, against all odds, the Zulu forces emerged victorious, delivering a shocking blow to the British military pride. However, this victory was short-lived. Despite their courage and tactical ingenuity, the Zulu warriors were ultimately outmatched by the superior weaponry and resources of the British Empire. The decisive Battle of Ulundi, fought in July 1879, resulted in a crushing defeat for the Zulu Kingdom. The once proud and mighty kingdom was annexed by the British Empire, marking the end of Zulu independence. The aftermath of the war was a time of great upheaval for the Zulu people. Their social, political and economic structures were irrevocably altered under British rule. And yet, amidst the trials and tribulations, the spirit of the Zulu people remained unbroken. They adapted, persevered, and carried their rich cultural heritage into the new world that was thrust upon them. Despite their valiant resistance, the Zulu Kingdom fell under British control, marking the end of an era. But the legacy of the Zulu Kingdom, 
their courage, resilience, and indomitable spirit continues to echo throughout history, reminding us of a time when they stood tall against the might of an empire. Although the Zulu Kingdom no longer exists as a political entity, its legacy is still very much alive. The kingdom's cultural and historical impact is so profound that it continues to shape the South African cultural identity. The Zulu traditions, language, and arts all are vibrant threads in the rich tapestry of South Africa's diverse culture. As for the Zulu people, they remain a substantial part of South Africa's population. Their continued preservation of traditional practices, such as the reed dance and the vibrant Zulu weddings, serve as a living testament to their rich past. These traditions, passed down from generation to generation, keep the spirit of the Zulu Kingdom alive. In essence, the Zulu Kingdom, once a formidable force in Southern Africa, has left an indelible mark on the cultural landscape of South Africa. The Zulu Kingdom may have faded into the pages of history, but its spirit and legacy continue to thrive in the hearts of the Zulu people today. As we conclude our journey through the rich history of the Zulu Kingdom, we hope that you have found this exploration as fascinating as we have in bringing it to you. The Zulu Kingdom's tale is one of power, resilience, and cultural richness that continues to resonate today. It's a testament to the strength of cultural heritage and the enduring spirit of the Zulu people. If you've enjoyed this deep dive into the history of the Zulu Kingdom, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Your like lets us know that you appreciate our content and encourages us to keep bringing you more. To ensure you don't miss out on future explorations into history, culture, and beyond, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Subscribing allows you to become part of our community, where learning and discovery are at the heart of everything we do. And if you want to be one of the first to see our new content, hit the notification bell. This way, you'll be alerted as soon as we release a new video. Thank you so much for joining us on this journey through the Zulu Kingdom. We look forward to seeing you in our next video. Until then, Stay curious and keep exploring.